Okay, I'm going to be showing you guys quite a few different things here in Microsoft Excel as we work with sheets. Now, when we talk about sheets, okay, I mean these like worksheets in, in Microsoft Excel. Uh, an Excel file is actually called a workbook. And then in the workbook, we have worksheets. So in this workbook, you can see we have a worksheet called data, one called unchecked, and another one called calculations. So I wanna just go through a couple of things and see that you guys are familiar with how these all sort of link together and how you can work with multiple sheets and all that sort of stuff. Now, we already know that, I mean, you can just click on a tab of a worksheet and you can just sort of drag it and move it anywhere you like. I mean, you can just move that there or move it back there. Okay, that's pretty easy. You could also just right click and go move or copy. Okay, we're gonna do that in a second but I want to show you what else we do first. So here is, as an example, I've got an unchecked worksheet. And let's say I'm busy working with data and sales and all that sort of stuff. And I notice like, you know what? This worksheet is completely useless. I cannot use it. It's got too much data missing. So I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to delete it. I don't need this data at all. So it's very, very easy to delete a worksheet. You simply go down to the worksheet tab, right click and go delete. Okay, Excel will say, Excel will permanently delete this. Are you sure? Do you want to continue? You say, absolutely, man. Cool. There it goes. It's gone. It's like gone forever. Like, <laughs> cheers, adios. Now we would like to carry on. And I'm going to make a copy of this data worksheet because let's say I need to do some stuff and I'm maybe not sure that I'm not going to mess it up. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this. So I right click on the tab at the bottom and I go move or copy. So it's because it's one or the other move or copy. And I'm going to create a copy. There it is over there. Create a copy. Click on create a copy and I'm going to move it to the end. Well, actually, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's just like if you want to move it to the end of all your tabs, you can do it. Or I mean, it's totally up to you. So I'm going to click OK. And there you can see it's created a copy of that worksheet, the same name, but then a number two in brackets. So this one I'm going to call real data, real data. Cool. And I'm actually going to move it before the calculations worksheet. There it is there. So that's like deleting worksheets, creating a copy of worksheets. You can also do this. This is pretty cool. Watch this. I can right click, move or copy. And I can actually create it in a new workbook altogether. I can copy this. I can actually move it to a new workbook or create a copy in a new workbook altogether. If I had another workbook open, I could even copy it from this workbook into that workbook. All right. So be aware of all these options that you have available. There's quite a bit we have available here. So anyway. So here I've got my real data worksheet and I'm going to have a look and see, okay, so I've got a lot of names, numbers, figures here, great. But sometimes you have a lot of data to work with and you notice that top row had the, the headers at the top or the headings, okay? Let's say I would like those headings to stay there. So even though I'm scrolling down, I wanna be able to see those headings. That's super easy, guys. Here I am in cell A1. I'm in my first row, that's very important. And I'm gonna to go to view, and I'm gonna to go to freeze panes, and I'm gonna say freeze the top row. Okay, let me show you what that does. I click on freeze the top row. Now watch what happens when I scroll. You will notice that the top row is frozen. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> uh, I think I should edit that out. Okay, so that top row is frozen. It doesn't move. It's frozen in place. That's pretty darn cool. That's what the freeze panes does. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm in view, freeze panes. I'm going to unfreeze the panes. Okay, so now everything's going to scroll again. If I was sort of like here in cell B2, Okay, if I say freeze panes from this point, everything above and to the left of it is gonna be frozen. Let me demonstrate. So freeze panes, and I just say freeze panes. Okay, click. Now watch, everything above that is frozen. So the, fr the top row is frozen because I was in row number two. But now also, column A is also frozen. Check it out. That's pretty cool because I was here. So everything above and to the left 
or right, my left, your left. I don't know which way the camera is going to do it. So there we go. So that's what the freeze panes does. So please be aware that we can freeze the top row, freeze the first column, or we can freeze, if we just say freeze panes, that will freeze everything above and to the left, okay, of where you are in your workbook. Okay, worksheet, I should say. So that's another thing that is kind of important to know about. So we know how to copy or move. We know how to freeze our panes. Okay. Now let's have a look at the next worksheet here. We have, we're going to perform some calculations. And I want to show you something here that I like doing. I like taking off the grid, the grids. Okay. Let me show you. So I'm going to click on, uh, is it a view? No, no, no. It was page layout. No, data review view. It is view. I was there the whole time. Sorry view grid lines now i kind of like this all right but that's just my own personal preference so here you can see the grid lines have been removed and sort of because my focus is now drawn to these things here that's what i like about doing in excel is taking off the grid lines but only if it's going to help someone focus all right that's kind of important so we're going to learn how can we do a calculation here when all the data is actually over there. Hmm, what are we gonna do? So I'm gonna work out the total amount sold. Now we know that to work out the total of something, it's a sum function, all right? The sum means add, but everything that I need is here, all right? So this is what I wanna add up. Well, it's actually so easy, guys, watch this. So I just go as normal, equals sum, all right, now it's asking me like, okay, so what am I adding up? Well, all you do is go to where the numbers are. So go to the real data tab and I click over there. Now you will notice right away, it has equal sum and it says real data exclamation mark. That means it's the real data worksheet. It's going to the real data worksheet. And now watch what happens. I'm going to start at E2. That's the top. Okay. I'm going to go right down to the bottom so I can calculate all of the sales that I made. There it is there. And have a look. So real data exclamation mark. So the real data worksheet E2 to E73. I'm just going to close off the brackets or the parentheses there. I'm going to press enter and there you can see is my equals sum and it's E2 to E73 but it is in real data, the real data worksheet. Do you see? So it's referencing another worksheet. Let's do the same with average, the average quantity sold. So equals average, there it is there, switch to real data. Let's find my quantity sold is here. So I'm going to just select all of that, press enter. And there it is there. Holy guacamole. Let's just take away some of those. Let's do that, shall we? Yes. Now here's another one. So here I'm going to do, I'm going to count how, uh, I'm going to do a sum of Precious Monroe, how many sales she made. So that is a sum if function. Do you remember this, guys? Sum if. Right, so the range, the criteria, the sum range. Now watch this. Okay, the range. The range, I'm going to go to real data. The range is going to be here where all the names of everybody is, are, is, are, there, great. Then I need the criteria. Now, I, obviously, I could type in her name, but I'm just going to switch back to calculations and choose her name. Now, you could leave that as, as is. I mean, it's not a big deal. Calculations, exclamation mark, B4. Calculations is where we are. You don't have to have calculations there. Okay, the name, because it's here already, but it's fine. You can leave it like that. Okay, and then, of course, the sum range it needs, and I'll just go back to real data, and the sum range will be the amount of money that she sold. So here we go there. Press enter, and there it is there. Let's just make that money. Well done, precious. 26 grand. Damn. Good girl. Damn. Okay, so what you've seen here, guys, is that we can reference the cells in another worksheet by simply going there just clicking and selecting what it is we're working with it's that straightforward okay so that's all we got to do now the last thing i want to show you guys is for example if this information was very important and we were going to send this to someone to look at but we don't want them 
to go ahead and tinker with this, okay, and change numbers around. That's called fraud. We don't do that, okay? So I need to protect this worksheet. I have to protect it from any changes that could be that could happen. So what do I do? At my tab at the bottom, I mean remember there's like a million ways, hey? This is the quickest, easiest way I think. Right click and we go to protect sheet. Okay, protect sheet. And you can see here uh, I can give a password. So people have to type in a password if they want to unprotect it. I'm not going to do that for now. S select locked cells, select unlocked cells. If I take all of these off, right? So now you can see the users of this worksheet can do nothing. In terms of this worksheet, nothing can happen. I'm going to click OK. Do you notice? Look at this. I'm clicking everywhere i'm trying to type and as i type i get a message saying showing that this sheet is protected okay so nothing's happening that's crazy i could also be a little bit more specific let me unprotect the sheet quickly and i will just say you know what i'm gonna if they need to change these i'm gonna let them change these so these three cells i'm gonna change the formatting here i'm gonna change the formatting so in my cells group go to format and I'm going to switch off lock cell. Just switch it off, turn it off. So that those three cells are not locked anymore when I protect my worksheet. Again, I could also right click and I could go format cells and I could go, uh, where is it, protection and take off lock there. So again, guys, you're gonna see there's so many ways to do the same thing. Now watch what happens when I protect the sheet again. So I'm gonna right click, protect the sheet and I'm going to let them select unlocked cells because remember I unlocked these I took the lock off they cannot select lock cells though everything by default is locked when I protect a sheet so click OK now watch I cannot click any of these however I can select these and I can edit these as well okay which probably wasn't a good idea for precious I'm sorry you just lost all your money Sorry about that. There you go, you're back. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. I've thrown in quite a lot here, but we've looked at moving and copying, deleting worksheets, working with uh, functions and formulas between different worksheets, protecting our sheet, switching on and off grid lines, and also freezing the window panes. So you might want to go back and just watch this a couple of times just to get your head around the different things I've thrown at you in this lesson.